April 20th. And it is snowing. Yuck. Well, I don't, it's not going to stick, I'm quite sure. And it's not going to last because it's calling for um, 70, de 70 degree temperatures in just a couple of days. So it's our weird Indiana spring weather. Um, as you can see, we got the extension put on the dog pen. It's kind of like a dog kennel. Um, that way Ollie and Sally can go outside whenever they want to to go potty. But then we can let them out of it to run around the backyard when they are under um, supervision. But Oliver cannot, at least knock wood so far, he cannot escape this pen. He's tried digging, but he kind of gave up once he got bored with it. Didn't ya? Ollie? What are you doing? But he'll run, run and around and around and around in that, in that kennel and then run in the house. So he's been enjoying it. He's been enjoying being able to come and go as he pleases. And it's been a lot easier on us. that can come and go as they please. I am so thankful that we don't have carpet anymore because all of that would be in the carpet. And I just mopped two days ago. <laughs> so this isn't like a week's accumulation. This is just a day and a half, two days. <laughs> oh, thankful for my hardwood floors. Ollie, do you want your dental bone? <gasps> do you want your dental bone? Do you? Just a minute. This is what we've been giving them right now. But I think I need to switch them because after the vet yesterday, um, Olive, Olivia. <laughs> oh my goodness, my brain. Sally, um, her teeth were starting to do a little bit of tartar on them. The vet said we could wait till next year to get them cleaned. Um, but he said to make sure she's getting dental treats, which this is what we've been giving them. But I may have to switch to something better. The vet said to get the ones that say brushing on them. And I think those are from the Milk Bone Company. I'm going to have to ask Kim from Schnauzer Mom which dental bones she gives to her dogs. But yeah, this is what we've got right now. I'm going to finish these up and then see what I can switch them to that might be better. I got these. I picked these because they are, um, what does it say, easy to digest. And I didn't want, sometimes those bones and stuff you can give, give them can be really hard on their systems and can cause problems. So that's why I chose these. But we'll see. Maybe these are what Kim Schnauzer mom gives her dogs. I don't know. I'll have to ask her. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Nope. Take it nice. Take it nice. Good boy. Oop. Get it. <laughs> Sally, do you want the dental bone? There you go.
So the vet visit went well yesterday. I took Sally to get her vaccinations updated and Ollie to get his sutures removed. And Ollie did very well. He didn't even fuss at all when they took his sutures out. And he's all healed up. He looks great. And he's, you can tell he's feeling so much better from the limes because he's been on antibiotics for two weeks now. He still has two more weeks to go with the antibiotics, but he's feeling so much better. You can tell a lot more energy and he also got wormed again. So um, we gave him one dose of wormer two weeks ago and he gets another dose, his last dose tomorrow actually. And so you can tell he's really feeling better. Sally, she's got a clean bill of health. The vet said that she's very muscular. He was noticing how muscular her legs are in the back and that she's a good weight even though she looks kind of chubby but she's super small you know short and long bodied so he said that's why her tummy looks pudgy but that she's at a good weight um like i said her teeth are showing a little bit of tartar and plaque but he said it can wait for one more year as long as we are doing the dental chews at least two to three times a week um, her eyes look good. She's 11 years old and he said her night vision might be starting to get a little bit, um, less, but, um, not any cataracts or anything like that. He said the coloring is starting to change a little bit and I noticed that. She's got a few little lumps and bumps, but that's normal for an older dog and he checked them all and said they're just lipomas, nothing to worry about. Um, one thing, which was a complete surprise to me, and I'm kind of shocked about it, is that Sally, too, has Lyme's disease. Um, I think, you know, God was just in this because when we took Ollie to have his pre-op checkup and first puppy shots and all of that um, a month ago, they asked if I wanted to do a Lyme's test on him, and I didn't think there was any reason to, but I said yes for some reason. I just thought I should say yes. And so I did, and I'm so glad I did because um, I'm trying to keep him on camera, but he's too busy. So we'll just put Sally on camera. Um, I'm so glad I decided to because he wound up testing positive for it. Well, when I took Sally, we have her tested for heartworms every year, but there's two different kinds of heartworm tests they can do. They can do one that's cheaper, that's just for heartworms, and then the other one is 20 plus or 60 plus, I don't remember what it was called, but it tests for heartworms, Lyme's disease, and other like intestinal worms. And it was like $12 more. And so I thought, uh, I don't even, I, it didn't even dawn on me that it would be possible for her to have Lyme's. It's not that. That's not why I chose to do it. I think it was just God saying, yes, it's only $12 more, do that test. So I said, yeah, let's do the, let's do the more expensive one. And lo and behold, she tested positive for limes as well. Now, I don't even remember pulling a tick off of her. Um, I mean, maybe she got it last fall. We went camping last fall in October and maybe she picked up a tick there and it's taken this long for it to, you know, it's been in her system all this time. I really don't know. She wasn't really showing any symptoms of Lyme's disease except that she's been so snappy and snarly and grouchy with Oliver. And I just figured it was because she is, you know, tired of his puppy, puppy antics. He's chewing on a bone. He chews a lot. The vet said I probably won't have to worry about his teeth because he, <laughs> he's a bigger breed and he chews a lot. So anyway, now both of my dogs are on antibiotics and I'm really surprised. And I told Olivia, I said, now remind me next year when I take them to get their checkups that I'm gonna automatically, every year from now on, have them both tested for Lyme's because it's obviously around. It's obviously 
in our on our property or at least in Indiana so now Oliver he's been vaccinated against Lyme's he's got his booster shot he got his initial shot and then he got his booster shot so I don't know if that will help I don't know I don't know how effective those are Sally can't have the Lyme's vaccination because the one and only time she got it she had a bad reaction to it so the vet said no she can't have it as you saw I placed an order at Aldi that's just a fill-in order for replacing our uh, canned goods down in our long-term storage we have been using cans and stuff out of that and I've not been replacing them um, as I should and I figured I would just it's probably easier for me to just once a month do an extra fill-in order to replace the stuff that we use down there rather than try to include it in my monthly grocery you know my every two week grocery haul so I placed that order and so in a little bit I'm gonna be going to town and picking that up and when I get back I will show you what I picked up and almost all of it's gonna be going down into my long-term storage but before that I need to get in the shower and get my clothes changed my Bath and Body Works order just came. I buy every, every two, three months, I buy a boatload of foamy hand soap. I've tried cheaper stuff and I just can't help it. I always go back to the Bath and Body. I just love it. So I did get some of the Mandarin Orange for the kitchen. Two of those. And what that's boy that's bright. Kitchen lemon. Two of those. So obviously those are for the kitchen. And then the rest of this is for the bathroom. Fresh cut lilacs. Pineapple mango. I've had that before. It's really nice. Vanilla coconut. Market peach. Waikiki Beach, Cherry Blossom, Japanese Cherry Blossom. I've smelled that perfume of that kind before and it's really nice. Endless Weekend. Can't remember what the smell it. Mandarin, Magnolia, and Coconut Water. And Strawberry Pound Cake. So that's my spring, beginning of summer Bath and Body Works haul. It is starting to accumulate a little on the windshield. I'm going to get to town, get that order picked up, get back before the roads get nasty. I can't believe this. And I shouldn't be surprised. But March was so nice. February was horrible. March was really nice. And I thought for sure we were gonna have an early spring. But around here, you really can't depend on that until after Mother's Day. And even then, sometimes we'll still get a frost. But I almost went to the greenhouse on Saturday and got my flowers and things. And it was kind of cold and gloomy on Saturday. And I'm like, ah, this isn't the kind of weather I like to go to the greenhouse. So we didn't go. And I'm glad I didn't, because I couldn't put the stuff in the ground anyway. And I remember last year, I uh, put planted too soon and my uh, flowers got uh, frosted. I don't know if you remember that. I showed it on my video. I was so upset. Um, there's my forsythia bush in full bloom. It looks so pretty. I love those bright yellow flowers. All right, I'm going to get to town and get back. Well, I'm back, and it's still snowing, and it actually is starting to coat things. It's very slushy. Brr. So this is what I ended up getting. A lot of canned goods. This is all for our storage downstairs. Let's see. So let me get this organized a little bit and then I'll show you what I picked up. 
Okay, so like I said, most of this is for the downstairs um, long-term uh, storage that we needed to restock. I got five cans of black beans, six cans of green beans, two jars of this organic tomato and basil pasta sauce, four cans of pumpkin, six cans of tomato sauce, six cans of Great Northern beans, two cans of pinto beans. We still have a ham bone left from Easter. It's in the freezer. And I'm gonna make ham and beans, maybe today, I don't know. That sounds, that sounds good. I think my dad would like it. Um, diced tomatoes with green chilies, two cans of those. I got four cans of refried beans, four cans of mandarin oranges, four cans of kidney beans, and then I got 10 cans of this chicken breast. Olivia eats this a lot, so I don't know how much of this will actually stay in storage for very long. And then some of this stuff is for storage, some of this stuff is not. Um, some instant brown rice, three boxes of that. I just needed some napkins, so I picked up that. We were completely out of brown sugar, so I got that. We were we ran out of sandwich bags, and Trav or Travis, not Travis, Scott, bought some from the Dollar General, and they're super flimsy and not very good. So I got another box from Aldi. Some of these flushable wipes, we like to keep these in the bathroom. Two things of the unsweetened applesauce blend. I wondered, like, what does it mean by applesauce blend? But it's just apple blend. So it's apples, blended apples. I thought that was a weird way of saying it. <laughs> Confused me there for a minute. But anyway, two of those, I use that in baking all the time. I got these for Scott to have right now, some snack sticks. Now, I could have store, I ordered two boxes of each, but maybe not. I threw the order together pretty quick this morning. And then this was kind of an impulse buy, um, blood orange persimmon candle, and it smells so good. Mmm, smells like summertime, so I think I'm going to light this today. So right across the street from Aldi is a dog training school, The Truth About Dogs. And so I stopped in there to talk to them because we are very seriously considering enrolling Oliver in obedience school because he is super smart, but he's super hyper and he really needs more training than what we can, that we know how to give. I mean, I know how to do basic training with dog, but he needs a little bit more than that. And their next round of classes starts June 3rd, and it's from 6 to 7 p.m. every Thursday night. Now, my only problem is going to be, well, actually, we have two problems. I work Thursdays till 6, so I need to see if my boss will let me get off an hour early from, from June 3rd till the middle of July. Don't know if she's going to go for that. And then the other problem is we're planning on going camping the first week of July. So we would be gone that one Thursday. And I don't know what their policy is about missing. I forgot to ask. It didn't even dawn on me until I got in the car. Um, you know, do we just miss out and only get five weeks of training? Or if we can make it up? I don't know. If we have to miss, I may wait until the next round of training classes, which I believe will probably start in August. I may wait till August to enroll him. But anyway, that place was so neat. Oh, it was so neat. I, I'm really excited about getting him enrolled in that. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, friends. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.